You're listening to the 10 minute podcast challenge that will prove every place is the same. Welcome your host, the irreverent, the cosmopolitan, the wicked, Daniela Vlaskalik. Hello and welcome to Every Place is the Same. I am super excited to introduce my guest, Artistic Director of Native Earth Performing Arts, Keith Barker. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, Keith, you have been doing some traveling, is that right? Yeah, this this year's been a busy year for traveling. You have spent some time in Iceland. Yes. Reykjavik? I didn't get a chance to go outside of it, but uh, I spent a lot of time in Reykjavik. First impressions? Uh, very. It felt very Nordic. The Everybody, the way they dressed, the architecture, everything about it was really impressive. Like everybody, everyone's in good shape, very slick. Really? Yeah. Now, you've also spent time in Brisbane, Australia. Yes. Yeah, I was there this this. No, not this year. I was there last year. It was great. Impressions? Uh, very hot. Very hot. It was like 35 degrees Celsius the whole time I was there. Very sunny. Best coffee in the world. Extreme temperature. Extreme temperature. Very sunny. Keith, would you say that Reykjavik, Iceland, and Brisbane, Australia are the same? Uh, no. No, they were very, very different experiences. Really? Yes. Well, you're in for a treat. Because today, on Every Place is the Same, we are going to prove that Reykjavik, Iceland, and Brisbane, Australia, are really the same. All right, let's do it. Let's talk about the sky. Okay, sure. Which sky? Iceland sky or just the sky in general? Which one do you think of when I say sky? Well, actually, I think of Brisbane, actually, because it was bright blue, no clouds. It was because it was so hot. I was always looking up. So just sun and blue sky. How about at night? At night, uh, clear sky. No stars, though, because we were in a city center. But yeah, clear. Let's talk about the sky in Iceland. It was mostly cloudy. It was cool. Lots of stars. Did you have your pie in the sky? No. uh, No, I I don't know what that means. What is pie in the sky? A dream? A wish? Uh, it was a while ago, so I don't know if I had a wish. I mean, I think I was very thankful to be there. Is If that's pie in the sky, I was very grateful. Absolutely. Great. To okay, there. let's talk about the Gold Coast. Yes, the Gold Coast. I, I got, we rented a car one day and I was a passenger and we drove up it. Impressions? Thoughts? Lots of surfing, lots of like, just lots of beach. Like it, I, it was incredible how far it stretched. Like a half hour, I felt like I only walked a little ways, and it just went on forever. Let's talk about the Golden Circle. I I don't know what that is. The Golden Circle is a road that you would take that would show you most of the scenic parts of Iceland. Yes. Okay. I do know that. Okay. Yes. Yes. I didn't take it, but I know of it. So both places refer to their roads, journeys as golden. Yes. They both have a gold themed road. Why do you think that is? Ah, I, it's interesting because uh, in Iceland, there was nothing shiny like that. and But in in on the Gold Coast, everything was bright and shiny all the time. So I don't know. I, maybe in Iceland they they crave gold, and in Australia they they see that golden all the time. Do the people shine in Iceland? They do. They do. Yes, they are uh, very interesting people. And probably in Brisbane as well. Most definitely. Would you say? That people in Brisbane and Iceland hold hands? Yeah, I would think that they would hold hands like anybody else would. So both places, shiny, happy people holding hands. (laughs) Yes, yes, they would have that in common. Very similar. Yes, similar, for sure. Do you like animals? I love animals. Do you like to cuddle animals? Depending on the animal, yes. Let's talk about the koala. The koala. Sure. Tell our listeners what a koala is. Uh, it's indigenous to Australia. It's a herbivore. It looks like a little teddy bear. 
It's and they're they're very very cute. And they have no fear of humans. I don't think so. The f- yeah, I, that's I think what I've heard is that they're that's maybe one of the problems is that the koala doesn't fear humans. Let's talk about the seal. The seal, yes. Explain to our international listeners what a seal is like. <laughs> what is a seal like? Uh, they are, well, they're not a fish. <laughs> I don't know how to describe them, but they're like a porpoise or, um, but they're very cute. They uh, Also cute. Very, very cute and cuddly. Uh, they've got fins. They've got a big fish tail. Almost look like a mermaid, but with a the lady half. They're a cute little animal with whiskers. They also don't fear humans. That's true. They do not fear humans. So mm. koalas and seals have quite a bit in common. I think their relationship with humans is definitely a is very common. Both cute. Uh, very cute. Do you like the beach? Yes, I love the beach. You mentioned it when you talked about Brisbane. Yes. Did you go swimming? I did. In Brisbane? In Brisbane. I did go swimming, yes. Did you go swimming in Reykjavik? Yeah, I went to the Blue Lagoon, which was a, like the, uh, I don't know what you call it, like the spa, but it's like... Um, a thermal pool? Yes, I did that. And how was that? One of the best experiences of my life. Do they have thermal pools in Brisbane? I don't think so. I, I mean, I never saw one, so... But the water is pretty warm. The water was very warm. The ocean was very warm in Brisbane. Almost thermally warm. Almost. Have you ever seen a volcano? Uh, Not up close, no. Have you ever hiked up a volcano? No. Have you ever seen a volcano erupting? Only on television. Did you see volcanoes in Iceland? I did not, but I heard a lot about them. Did you see volcanoes in Brisbane? I did not, no. Would it shock you to know that both places have them? No, it wouldn't. Both places have dormant volcanoes. Very cool. Keith, do you like waterfalls? Yes, I love waterfalls. Were there any waterfalls on your adventures? Uh, None that I saw, no. There was a geyser in Iceland which shot the water up as opposed to water coming down, but no waterfalls. Do you chase waterfalls? Uh, No, I'm not a waterfall chaser. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Okay, I won't. Let's talk about ring roads. Okay. What is a ring road? I don't know. I th- is it a roundabout? It's a road that you take that goes around. Yes. I have actually been on a ring road. Yes. Okay. Ring road. Famous road in Reykjavik. Very famous. Yes. Orbital motorway. Another word for a ring road. I didn't know that. That they're trying to build in Brisbane. So it's not there yet. It's halfway there. Okay, so they're building it. But why would you want a ring road? Uh, Maybe it's for tourism. This idea that, I mean, it's beautiful landscape and the idea that you would go around to see it all. Oh. Also a way to start in one place, end in another. Yes, that cyclical thing is, yes, good. It is good, isn't it? It is. Keith, to puffin or not to puffin? Uh, I'm not sure what that means to puffin, but I, my instinct is to puffin. And the reason why we would puffin is because Iceland is home to one of the world's largest colonies of puffins. I didn't know that. Now you do. Keith, we are in Reykjavik. We are walking down the street. Okay. Where are you taking me? I'm taking you to the record store. The record store? Yes. Tell me more. When I was there, Arcade Fire had just come out with their 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 latest album, and I came across this record store and they were they had a DJ playing, lots of people standing outside drinking coffee, hanging out. Coffee, you say? Yes. Talk to me about coffee. I love coffee. I love a good latte. I'm really into flat whites. Uh, How was the coffee in Iceland? It was fantastic. How was the coffee in Brisbane? The best I'd ever had. Really? Really. So good coffee in both places. Yes. I mean, it was better in Brisbane, but I was happy with both coffees. Why do you think that is? I think it's because they don't do drip coffee. 
they they mostly work off espresso machines. So they really know they use full milk, like whole milk. Um, so yeah, it just tastes better. Flat white. Flat white. It's my favorite. In both places. In both places. Some people say you should drink hot beverages in hot places. Do you agree with that? Yes, I did that. And some people say you should drink hot beverages in cold places. Did you do that? <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, I did. So no matter where you are, you like a good flat white. Yes. Where would you take me for a flat white in Brisbane? Oh, anywhere. Like every little coffee shop makes good coffee there. Like I didn't find a coffee shop that didn't make good coffee. So I'm pretty, yeah, I was pretty happy everywhere I went. But it'd be great to go close to the beach and sit and have a coffee out there. Whether you are driving along the Gold Coast or around the Gold Circle, whether you're looking up for your pie in the sky or you're just interested in cuddling a koala or a seal, you will find shiny, happy people holding hands and drinking amazing coffee in both Brisbane and Reykjavik. So, Keith, I want to thank you for helping me prove that Reykjavik, Iceland, and Brisbane, Australia are, in fact, the same. Did I? I would say you did. We'll listen back. Okay. You just listened to Every Place is the Same, hosted by Daniela Vascalic and directed by Marco Timpano. If you enjoyed this episode, buy Daniela a coffee. Just go to ko-fi.com slash everyplaceisthesame. That's K-O-F-I dot com. Every Place is the Same. Until the next time, enjoy your travels.